Hey guys, today we are going to go over Monday's strength workout. All you're going to need for the workout is a light set of dumbbells, a heavy set of dumbbells, and something stable to hold on to. I'm going to use a windowsill. You can also use a high table for this one. So we're going to get right into the ring of fire. You're going to be starting in a high boat position. Shins are going to be parallel with the ceiling. Chest lifts up nice and tall. Take one of your light dumbbells. We're going to reach out to the side, cross under the knees, and come back up. Under and up. We're going to transition that guy right into a T-spine Russian twist. So you're going to stay in that position. You're going to reach up. We're going to cross around and lift, cross and lift. Third exercise here, we're going to roll it down. We're going to move into a bicycle crossover. See if you can get a second pause on that knee to the elbow contact and come in. Extend out and in. Nice and controlled. That's going to be our ring of fire and we're going to move through two rounds of that. Once we get through that, we're right on to strength. So our strength format for this block is going to be four reps of a really heavy or challenging exercise and then we're going to do eight reps a little bit easier. We're going to be starting with a skater squat. I recommend you take a dumbbell in each hand. So this is going to challenge your leg and also your balance. We're going to stand on one leg here and then you're going to bend your base leg down as far as you can for a nice lunge and then you're going to stand back up. Your knee doesn't have to touch the ground, but if it can, I want you to challenge yourself to do so. We've got four reps there, and then you're going to step back, and you've got eight reps coming down and back up. Then we're going to switch to the other side. Nice four controlled reps coming down and standing back up, and then you're lunging, coming down and back up for those eight. Next exercise on the agenda for Monday's workout is going to be a diamond push-up. This is going to mean that the fingers and the thumbs are going to come together. If you can do this in a toe plank position, I'd like you to do so. Where you're in a nice plank here, you're bringing your chest down and pressing back up, right? You're going to do four reps there and then knees down, crank out those eight. If on the toes is challenging for you, do four on the toe, on the knees, four here, and then find your stable spot here. And then you're going to crank out those reps on your table, on the windowsill, on whatever elevated surface you have. And that's exercise number two. Exercise three, we're going to be down on the floor. One of your heavy weights is going to come into play here. We're rolling back. I want you to have that same diamond hold on your dumbbell here. We're going to brace the core down. Your first four reps are a reach out with the arms and the legs, and then you're going to pull over and crunch up. Once you get those four reps in, feet are going to come down and you're just focusing on that extension and that pullover. Keeping the arms nice and strong here and the shoulders nice and stable. Moving on, you can take two dumbbells or one depending on how heavy they are. And we're going to move into a single leg RDL. So you're going to stand on one leg your first four are balanced. I want you to try your best not to hold on to something. Hinge down as far as you're able to. Come back up. Right, get those four reps in. And then come down, set one of your dumbbells down. Hold on to your stable space. And then hinge again and back up. And we'll finish out those reps on the one side with that base. Turn it around. Four with the balance and then eight with the stability. Then we're going to move back down to the floor here. We're going to be doing a chest fly into chest press. So we have our medium to heavy weights. We're going to come down. Get your shoulders nice and comfortable. We've got four reps on a chest fly coming out and squeezing in. Making sure that the wrists stay in line with the chest and that they don't come up towards the face. And then you're going to move right into a dumbbell press. So four heavy-ish flies and then eight dumbbell presses. All right, and then last up on the agenda for Monday is going to be a rear delt fly here. We're gonna work a little bit with uh, our reps. So we're gonna hinge at the hips, keep that core nice and tight. You're gonna reach out to the side and hold it, both arms. We're gonna do four, four, three, three, all the way to one, and then Rep it out for eight. Come down, reach out for eight and seven. All the way down to one, and then we're going to be done. 
We're going to be doing strength in a circuit style. So we've got three rounds. We're going to touch on each exercise and then we'll loop right back up to the top and we'll do that three times in a row. That's going to be the workout. I hope you guys find it interesting. I hope to see you at Monday morning workout, 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. And if you don't make it to the workout, I hope you get a chance to watch the recording. It's so important to get some weights in your hand and keep ourselves moving. All right, you guys, enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.